Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Hope all you moms out there had a really good Mother's Day. Um, I did. Uh, husband took me out to dinner with the kids and my mom and dad and got me a big, um, him and the kids got me a big plant, uh, hanging plant that I'll probably kill, but cross my fingers, maybe not. And um, he also got me some enormous caramel apples. There were four of them. I ate one because these came like Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so these, and then there's also one with crushed Oreos all over it in the fridge too. So he spoiled me. So anyway, I wanted to uh, show everybody everything that I got this weekend. Had a pretty good weekend. Um, bought some guy stuff. So you guys out there, you're gonna have to tell me, you know, if I did okay or not, or how to sell some of this stuff. Um, but I want to give you a couple uh, quick updates on some of the things that are listed right now. Um, some of the surprising ones. Um, these things end Tuesday, so I'll come back with an update then, or Tuesday or Wednesday, and let you know how they sold. But the belt buckle is selling. Uh, it's got a bit of, I think, 15 or 16. I put all these things up with free shipping. I'm just giving that a shot and see how that goes. Um, the playing cards that I bought for a dollar, they have a bit of 1050 and they have like four people watching them. And then the thing that surprised me the most was this beat up hacky sack that I bought for a nickel. Um, it got a bid of 9.99, then it, now it's up to 11.61 and has six people watching it. So, I have no idea why, but like my husband always says, Whatever twist or twinkie. So, <laughs> if they want it, you know, they got it. Uh, so, I went to a rummage sale on Thursday. I thought it was my favorite rummage sale. It turned out to be the church down the street from that one. But I did pretty well. Um, first thing I got was, of course, I had to get the coffee mugs. Got this really, really interesting one with this angel handle. It says um, 1994 McConnell on the bottom. There's a few of these on eBay. It has a little chip right there by the wing, but it should do okay. has a lot of crazing on it. You probably can't see it. Um, there you can see it a little bit. But I think that actually makes this look better. It makes it look more distressed. Got this Atlanta Falcons mug. It's nice because it's um, you know sculptural. This was a dollar, but um, <clears throat> I think it's been used once or twice. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, but it still has the NFL holographic sticker on it. There's um, only a couple others of those on eBay, so I should eventually sell that. And I bought some stuffed animals. This one I got for, I think, like a quarter. Um... I bought it because this tag, it's very, very hard to read it, but it says uh, made with pure wool right here. And it's very stiff. I mean, this is not something you cuddle up with. But I think it was made probably back in the early 80s, I'm thinking, for the, um, the tourist trade over in China. And I found one on eBay for 75 which is ridiculous, and another one on GoAntiques.com for um, 19 dollars So I'm just going to put this up for $9.99 see what happens. So, um, got this nice Douglas plush red fox, really, really good condition. And I think its name is Roxy or something like that. That was a quarter. Then I bought this is Crush from Finding Nemo, the sea turtle, and he's got a Disney store emblem on him. I've seen these going for anywhere from 12 to uh, 22, so I'm probably going to ask 15 for him. I found a Superman Hallmark ornament, 25 cents, still has the price tag on it, which is good. I don't know if I'm going to try and sell this individually or I might sell it in a um, lot. I have a whole bunch of Hallmark ornaments downstairs that I have to sell. 
Uh, let's see. Found a Penn State tie for, I think that was a dollar. And I got some cell phones. So you guys are going to have to help me. Tell me to buy cell phones. I know one is good and one will sell, but I think the other ones are, you know, kind of duds. So I don't know if I should sell them all in a lot together or what I should do. Um, I got this for two bucks. This is just a, you know, palm visor. Has the stylus and everything. It does work. So I'm hoping to, you know, get a little bit of money on that. And then the rest of this stuff I kind of just picked up and I think that other people bought some of these phones but didn't take the boxes so I kinda got a mishmash here. I got this Motorola for two and I thought this was the box for it but it's not. I think I can't remember which charger is it. I think this might be it might be the charger but I'm not totally sure but funny thing was, this was all the paperwork that was in the box with it. But then the next yard sale I went to the next day, I found this Motorola Razor for five bucks, and with the charger. And this is actually the manual that goes with this. So, and it's singular, so or singular, singular. Isn't that allergy medication? Uh, so, let me know about those. And I got another old cell phone back here. There might be two in this box. There's, this is a real old Motorola flip phone. I don't know if this is the manual that goes with it. There's chargers. And then I got this Nokia for a buck. So, and that was a buck. So let me know how I should sell these. Should I put everything in a lot together with the razor? Sell the razor by itself and sell the others as a lot? I don't know. So give me some advice on that. Um, then I went to a couple of yard sales on Friday. I got that razor that I showed you. Went to an estate sale and found these earrings. Paid eight bucks. Um, I know I'll probably get 10 out of them. I might get more. I just don't know. I can't find these particular ones on eBay, so that might be a good sign. I bought these because these are by a designer. Her name is Laurel Birch, B-U-R-C-H, and she does a lot of these real stylized cat things. Usually you see them in all kinds of freaky rainbow colors, but um, <clears throat> these are just gold tone earrings. And I've sold her stuff before, tote bags, coffee mugs. Um, I even sold a decorative like pillowcase with no pillow form in it that was even ripped. Sold that. So, like I said, her stuff can be pretty popular. Then I just bought this for a dollar. This is actually for my son. He really likes, you know, anything that has to do with swords, pirates, military, all that stuff. And this is a tie tack from Anson. And. <clears throat> You clip this part onto the tie and then these two parts flip up and go on either side of the front of your tie. So, just thought that was cool. Not that he wears ties a lot, but we have a wedding to go to at the end of the summer so he can wear it then. Um, also on Friday, went to a yard sale and kind of felt sorry for the people because they were just weren't having a good day, so I spent $4. Purple cat. Whoops, that's uh, on. I bought some baby toys. This is an Eric Carl Touch and Read baby block. And as you can hear, it's electronic and talks. This is a Leapfrog, uh, I forget what this is called, Read and Rhy Roll and Rhyme. And it plays music and rhymes words and all that stuff. These are both in really good condition. And then got this um, Sandra Boynton puppy book. Really cute. You squeeze it here and he barks. So. I'm going to try and sell these a lot. Leave them up for, you know, a few weeks. If they don't sell, I'm going to take them down. And we have a big consignment sale, a kid's consignment sale, every September and March. So I'm going to sell that in the fall sale. And they'll definitely, 
uh, go then. Let's see. What else, what else, what else? Okay, went to um, another sale, found some more playing cards. I don't know if these will sell or not. I think the Coke ones will. I'm not sure about these. These are really cool bicycle playing cards. They have really cool face cards. This is what the aces look like. But I thought they were neat. They were a quarter, so I took a chance. Um, if not, I'll just keep them for myself. But these should go. These are Coca-Cola. These are acetate. Um, clear playing cards. They're all brand new in the box. Sealed, never been opened. Got four packs of those for a dollar. So I think I'm going to sell one by itself. See if it goes. And uh, take it from there. And from that same sale, I got... <clears throat> I got a Bible. You know, I got to buy my Bibles. Got that for a dollar. Pretty nice shape. Can't find the year on it, though. And also found this Mickey Math Adventure uh, calculator from Texas Instruments. I did take the battery out. I have to go to Radio Shack and get another one and make sure he works. But I can't find any others on eBay. Oh, I'm hoping that's a good sign. Um... Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Okay, I went to another garage sale where all these 20-something couples were selling stuff, and by 10 a.m. they were already, like, drunk out of their mind. So <laughs> I got this Snoopy tie, or Snoopy, Scooby-Doo tie from them for 50 cents. It's 100% silk. Uh, got this nice sterling necklace and bracelet for a dollar and if it doesn't sell I might keep it because the bracelet's like really really tiny because I have the tiniest like wrists in the world so it fits me so that might stay here <clears throat> also from there for a dollar picked up this Williams Sonoma appetizers hardcover cookbook it's in really nice shape looks like it's never been used um, William Sonoma is a very good name, and I haven't found any uh, of these on eBay. There's some appetizer books by them, but most of them are uh, paperback. So, I don't usually buy a lot of cookbooks, but if the name is good, then I will. And, let's see. Got this for a dollar. Got this nice Giants jersey. But this is staying here because this is mine. So it's a men's medium. Still, you know, going to float in it a little bit. But it's nice because I had to retire my Tiki Barber jersey after he cheated on his pregnant wife. And, you know, he's scum now. So can't wear that anymore. So I'm glad I found a new one. And wanted to tell all you guys about Scrabble Games found two of them this weekend at the rummage sale for a dollar a piece. Um, if you find these cheap, buy them and then piece them out. Because, um, you know, I'm one of those, as my husband calls it, craft dorks. And um, a lot of us out there love Scrabble tiles. Um, the tiles, if you sell all of them together by themselves, are going on eBay for like 10 to $12 with free shipping. And then you can also wait till you get maybe three sets of these racks. So when you have about a dozen of these, sell those is a lot. And then even the game boards. Um, I looked it up. People are selling. They wait till they get maybe six to twelve of these, and they sell these as a lot and make maybe you know uh, ten bucks or so on those. So one game, if you buy it for like a dollar, should make you you know ten to fifteen bucks in the long run. And bought some guy stuff this weekend. This is at the rummage sale. This is an RCA tube handbook, handbook three, volume one and two. This is about the um, RCA cathode ray, cathode ray television tubes from 1959. Very, very technical. And there are some others on eBay. Uh, found, so 
some books. Paid $4, I think, for all the books I'm going to show you next. Um, plus a couple other things. Got this Tyco Model Railroad Manual, 1979. Really nice condition. Color pictures. So, I know railroad stuff does pretty well. Got this Chilton Auto Repair Manual, 1954-63. This is a collector's edition. I bought it for a dollar, should sell for between 10 and 12. And you know, my husband's a mechanic, so he's always telling me to look for these cheap. And they sell pretty well. And that same garage sale, I picked up this enamel hand juicer. I don't know if it'll sell or not, but it was a quarter. And I know sometimes old kitchen stuff does well, and the enameled stuff can do pretty well sometimes. Also, because of everything going on with the royal we the royal wedding and all the increased interest in it, picked up this mug. This is a London Scenes by Wid Midwinter. I can't talk today. Uh, Staffordshire, and then this little shot glass that says Windsor Castle. And then also got at that same sale. These are really interesting books. These are all from the War Department and they're all dated. This is from 19, 1941 is the last date in here. This is the Foundations of Biology Manual. Got this one from February 1944, Groundwater Supply for Military Operations. And then this one is July 1949, Introduction to Electronics. And this one really has some cool illustrations in it. So, if anybody knows anything about these, let me know. There are some on eBay, and they do sell, but it depends on, you know, what they're about. And, again, with the guy stuff, went to an estate sale. Found some Harley manuals. This is the service manual for 2003 for touring models. Also found the parts catalog. Same year, same model. My husband's telling me I should sell these together. I'm thinking, thinking I should sell them separately in case someone has one but not the other. So uh, let me know what you think I should do with those. Also got this Fleet Police model 2004 service manual supplement. Um, picked both of the smaller books up for three and the big one was five. Um, the tube handbook was a dollar. The army manuals for like, I don't know, a quarter a piece. And I don't know how I'll do on these. Got some Harley, I think these are women's um, riding boots. They were 25 bucks but can't find any with this stud detail and they're in really really good shape they're big though, they're size 11 but that actually might be good because there's probably less of the bigger sizes on eBay so I'm hoping to at least get my money back I usually don't buy things for that much money and the last two things I got I think these are the last two things I got we're at the rummage sale I went to on Friday. This one I was really, really excited about. This is a Muzzy foreign language course for children. Sometimes these advertised on TV. I sold one last year for uh, over $100. I got it for two. This one I got for a dollar. The prices have gone down a little, but I should easily be able to get 50, 60 bucks out of this, maybe more. Depends on. how many people look at it but everything is here and I walked in the room and saw that grabbed it and just went you know <laughs> and tried not to do my happy dance and finally this is probably one of the weirdest things I've ever bought I found this at the rummage sale saw it from across the room saw this pewter baby cup in the box so I went to take a look at it it says the Salisbury Pewter Company and I saw it was engraved on the front, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but 
It's an eagle, and around here it says the seal of the Supreme Court of the United States. Who would get this engraved this way? Because I found this online. You buy the cup by itself, and you get it engraved. The cup alone is thirty-eight fifty, brand new, and then you get it engraved with whatever you want. So I don't know if this was a family joke or what was going on, but that was a dollar. One of the strangest things I ever got. So I think that's it. I know I went on for a long time, but like I said, I had a good weekend. And um, all the crafty girls out there, I'm going to be back and show you in another video the uh, few crafty things I got because the guys don't want to see that. So I'll talk to everyone later. Hope you all have a good week. Sell a lot of stuff. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.